Remember the first time it was canceled and remember we had to go back to hotel. Then we had to pay for hotel again day once, you know. And I want to thank, who else I want to thank? I want to thank um, Kamar McGregor for buying two tickets to Florida, which could have been my ticket to go and return. But he wanted my assistance to be there with me. Um, do I, God, I apologize to you. I, I apologize to you. Because I have yet to come through. What's wrong with me, God? Welcome to One Trending TV. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, or over here to the mix up there. One Trending TV. When I went to Jamaica, um, I was in a room with my son and I had invited my boyfriend, Colin, who died um, a year ago. I invited him to the resort and I got a room for him. And um, I went to the room to welcome him. And when I went into the room, he beat the crap out of me. You know, there I was screaming and shouting for somebody to save me. And I was just locked in that room and had to endure all that beat beating. So, yes, I'm paranoid being left in a room by myself. And yes, my mind my mind starts to imagine things and yeah that's me and i'm not gonna come here and say anything other than what i am that is me and if you know me you will know how to treat me but yeah that's me you know and most recently recently like two days ago my daughter had me barricaded in a room you know, and it was very terrifying, but I'm willing to forgive. And um, I won't forget, but I won't make it a subject, you know, to ruin my life. You know, but it's sure, it's sure not a good feeling, you know, when a daughter knows that you're sick and, you know, come up in your face and all these things. But I forgive her and may you all forgive her too. Hey. You know, life, it seems like a long journey, but it's pretty short. One minute we're here, the next minute we're gone. What have we contributed to this world? I can't say I've contributed much things that are a success. I gave birth to 13 kids and, you know, <laughs> and it's like, <sighs> yeah, but this much I know that I told my producer this morning that I can hear the song that we recorded in the heavens when my soul departed from this earth. I can hear the song in the universe. And I'm not going to let my lashy mouth or my truth or anything stop me from that song going out there. So my apologies to Kemar McGregor. The truth is he's a nice person. The nicest I've met in the industry. He's a beautiful, wonderful man. And um, he's my best friend. You understand? Someone I can truly depend on. And the only thing that would stop me from depending on him is if there are obstacles in the way, such as his cash at at being truly frozen. This is a man that honestly, I say to him that I'm hungry. I know that there are times when I talk like an artist and be like, oh, why would I be hungry when I have a big house in California? The truth is I have been hungry. And I tell my producer $500 cash. And the truth is, yes, my green card needed to be renewed. And my, my producer be like, here's the money. So I am thankful to Kemar McGregor, you understand, for everything that he has done for me and for a wonderful song and seeing the good in me and wanting to make me into a better person. I apologize to his wife. You know, I have no right for attacking you or including you in my conversations. And I apologize to his children. I apologize to my fans for letting you down each time. I came out with 
um, call me and I never go through with it. Although that that's um, great creativity too. I came out another song with sicker rhymes. I keep letting you down. And you know, all this needs to stop. All this needs to stop. I keep letting you down. I let you down on Sting, did I? <laughs> but I keep letting you down. Although at the end of the day, everything turns out to be very entertaining, you know. But one day I'd like to come through for you. Please pray for me. Continue to pray for me, you know. And what else can I say? Thanks to Charney for also helping me with Ticket and Hotel. Thanks to um, Anwar for also helping me with ticket and hotel. You must be wondering, how comes this ticket? Well, remember the first time it was canceled. And remember, we had to go back to hotel. Then we had to pay for hotel again day once, you know. And I want to thank, who else I want to thank? I want to thank um, Kamar McGregor for buying two tickets to Florida, which could have been my ticket to go and return, but he wanted my assistance to be there with me. Um, do I, God, I apologize to you. I, I apologize to you. Because yet to come through, what's wrong with me, God? I apologize to you. I apologize to you. One thing I do know, though, that the song was able to save me despite my ways and everything. I figured that my producer know that knows my work, work ethics. And I think that that is what is saving me now. I think so. One day, one day I'll get it right. But for now, you know, for now. I continue to fight with life. I continue to fight with life. Not just me, but each and every one of us. Um, but out of everything bad come forth something good. I've gotten this great opportunity to work on the radio in Sacramento because of me and everything that's going on there like Amari. We want you to work on this radio station in Sacramento. I hope I don't mess that up too. I keep messing everything up. But that's what happens to people when they're super talented. You know, it's just something about us. Mari, cool yourself. Uh, she loves to brag you say about herself. Tra. Yeah. And, um, but you know, I did tell them that I don't want nothing to hold me down right now. Because I want to travel. I want to be on tour. But you want to know something? The people who own the station, they are, shut them out, Mari. That, who they are, could be another great opportunity for me. So I need to at least meet them. Okay? Do I want to change and be a better person? I don't like those words. I like who I am. I just love me. Crazy. I just love me. Speak my mind. I just love me. I don't think that that would be Amari. You know? Just learn to love me. I'm just me. I don't want to be anybody else. But I do apologize for my actions. But I don't, I, I, do I want to change? I don't think so. I would really miss me. Anyway, I got to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Big up to King Mix Up, you know, for respecting me and my producer no matter what. And for giving us a fair, a fair, a fair amount of your platform. You know, you don't take sides. You just tell it like it is. You know, thanks for allowing us to work out our grievances in a fully, fully workout. Um, Kamar sent me a notice after we discuss everything. And um, as long as I'm in compliance to the notice, he's willing to put out the song. What do I have to comply to? I have to be willing to take down the videos, defamation of character in regards to him and his family. I'm willing to take them down because videos only have three days life. And um, I already got the views and I already made the deal. You know, so. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
So I'm willing to take down the views. Plus the whole thing is nonsense. But it's the truth. Destiny and her bap bap eyelash, it is still missing. Mm -hmm. Where the fuck she went, I don't know. She talking about she la lost eyelash in the grass. That don't make sense. You crying in the grass. <coughs> so I'm should, I should be sorry for you. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Anyway, love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. So I'll be taking the videos down. And please don't run with the false rumors. Because I never saw these people making out or anything. I don't expect that from my producer who is a grown man, but, you know, whatever, whatever. Let's go. Talk to you later, guys. I will be back later on. Love you. Ciao. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, or over here to the mix up there. One Trending TV.